The universe is expanding like an endless balloon stretching the very fabric of space-time. This constant growth makes it hard to mark the edges or calculate its true size in the vast sky. Dark energy, a mysterious cosmic force, is the driver pushing distant galaxies away over time. Using tools like redshift analysis, scientists track how fast these celestial objects move from our point. The James Webb Telescope changed deep space observation with its incredible infrared vision. Its power pierces through cosmic dust, revealing structures hidden from older optics like Hubble. Before Webb, the Hubble telescope gave most of our deep space images, but had limits in infrared. Positioned at Lagrange Point 2, Webb avoids Earth's distortion and captures sharper galaxy views. It spotted galaxies from just 300 million years after the Big Bang, challenging current cosmology. Famous scientists like Brian Cox and Neil deGrasse Tyson discuss the universe's scale. Cox compares the observable universe to a grain of sand on an endless beach under the stars. This observable section spans 93 billion light years, yet it's just a small piece of the full cosmos. Beyond it lies the unobservable universe, perhaps infinite and forever hidden in darkness. Inside our viewable part, there are two trillion galaxies, each full of bright stars. We know this from surveys like Hubble Deep Field which revealed countless galaxies in a tiny sky patch. Later images showed galaxies are scattered unevenly, forming a cosmic web. This web is made of filaments, voids, and clusters, shaped over time by gravity. Though our solar system feels massive, it's tiny compared to the Milky Way. Driving a car at 70 miles per hour, it would take 15 days to circle Earth, 5 months to reach the Moon. Mars would take 63 years at its closest if we drove non-stop through space. But these seem short next to interstellar distances where light travels for years. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, left the solar system by 2012, going 14 billion miles. Still, it hasn't reached the Oort cloud, a distant icy shell surrounding our system. Light moves at 670 million mph, but even that is slow on cosmic scales. It takes 8 minutes for sunlight to reach Earth, but 4.3 years from Alpha Centauri. At Voyager's speed, Alpha Centauri would take 70,000 years to reach, highlighting the distance. This shows that human interstellar travel remains impossible with today's technology. Even the closest exoplanet, Proxima Centauri b, remains unreachable with current rockets. The Milky Way contains 300 billion stars, many with their own planets. It stretches 100,000 light years, with Earth orbiting 26,000 light years from the center. At the center lies Sagittarius A**, a supermassive black hole pulling stars with intense gravity. Our solar system, in the Orion arm, completes one orbit around the galaxy every 230 million years. Beyond it lies the local group, a small cluster of 54 galaxies, including Andromeda. Andromeda, 2.5 million light-years away, races toward us at 68 miles per second. In about 4.5 billion years, it will collide with our galaxy, creating a new elliptical galaxy. Despite the merger, stars won't collide due to their vast separation in space. Galaxies form clusters like the Virgo supercluster with 1,500 known galaxies. This is part of the Laniakea supercluster, spanning 520 million light years of space. Laniakea means immense heaven in Hawaiian, fitting for this cosmic region. Superclusters link together by dark matter filaments, forming the cosmic web. Between these threads are vast voids, empty spaces stretching millions of light years. The observable universe has about 10 million superclusters, each packed with galaxies. Yet all visible matter makes up less than 5% of the total universe. Dark matter is 27%, and dark energy makes up a huge 68% of everything out there. Dark matter's gravity binds galaxies, while dark energy causes expansion. Together, they guide the future of the universe, though both remain mysterious. Cosmic voids, some 15 million light-years wide, lack normal matter. They alter galaxy motion, creating flows toward dense regions. 
The Boötes Void, one of the largest, spans 330 million light years with few galaxies. Such voids hint at unknown physics, possibly new forms of energy. Cosmic filaments of gas and dark matter stretch billions of light years like highways. They guide galaxies into clusters, funneling matter through the void. The Sloan Great Wall spans 1.4 billion light years, a truly massive structure. These filaments emit faint X-rays, visible to tools like the Chandra telescope. When massive stars explode in supernovae, they scatter heavy elements across space. A Type II supernova releases more energy than the Sun will in its lifetime. Elements like gold and uranium are formed in these blasts and recycled into planets. Their remains form neutron stars or black holes, powerful relics of stellar death. Some black holes have jets of particles shooting at nearly light speed. Sagittarius A holds 4 million solar masses, while others reach billions. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope imaged a black hole's shadow. James Webb now explores the epoch of reionization, when stars first lit the gas clouds. This era, 400 million years after the Big Bang, shaped our universe. Some believe in the multiverse, where each universe has its own laws. These might explain our fine-tuned constants, but remain unproven. If true, other universes could leave imprints in our CMB sky like cosmic scars. Astronomy shows our smallness, yet makes us part of something grand. Each new discovery deepens our connection to the cosmos. The journey has only begun. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.